welcome back to my channel success engineering official so from today we are going to start uh, hpsc heat load calculation for uh, one of the project this is a two uh, two floor commercial building and uh, we are going to uh, start uh, the one by one uh, the heat load calculation for each rooms each each space and also we will do the ventilation calculation so this video will be made part by part so you have to watch complete video because i am going to explain all the steps here and this is a real project and based on the dubai so first of all i will explain in this tutorial say what is the requirement to design hbs system for real time project so don't forget to watch my channel and don't forget to subscribe as well i also share and like my video so let us start now as you can see this is a... so first of all the requirement what is the what is the requirement to do the designing of uh, hpsa system for real time project okay so first of all we need the drawing drawing means we need uh, four drawings which is uh, floor plan first of all okay and then roof plan and then section as well as elevation okay and, uh, and next we required uh, the inputs the inputs parameter like uh, ambient temperature indoor uh, design temperature okay and then uh, u value for wall roof and windows all over whatever it is applicable okay and then next uh, we need the client requirement as well okay because uh, the design and selection of ac will be based on the client requirement okay so first of all uh, let us start now in this in this tutorials uh, you can see this is the ground floor okay so this is ground floor layout for office block okay in this you can see the so many offices are there this is the technical manager office secretary filling production in charge okay and this is meeting rooms okay receptions and this is the main entrance okay so this is the sales department and technical department so all are offices only so this is commercial building so and here is the transformer room electrical room telecom room okay and this is your store and pantry and these are the gents toilets okay and this is the lift just to go lift and staircase to go from ground floor to first floor okay and this is gents toilet uh, toilet as well and uh, this is the ladies toilets so first of all you have to read the drawing and study the drawing okay and this is the it office server room translators and planning rooms okay so i will show you here you can see this is the template okay and this is uh, one of uh, contractor here in uh, ua designed by that contractor and this is for hemri steel okay and this is the consultant model consultant engineering consultant okay so this is the real time project and this is executed uh, executed on executed in uh, the recent project okay uh, and this is executed in uh, here you can see in 2010 or 9 okay so this is very very old project okay so this is uh, your ground floor layout okay and similarly there is first floor this is two floor building so this is first floor layout office uh, block so similarly you have to look for this uh, read for this uh, all these uh, space so this is commercial manager secretaries financial managers waiting areas conference room gm office this is the private toilets okay advisor secretaries and admin manager and here is the pantry and store gents toilet and uh, stair and lifts uh, always and here is the ladies toilets 
and uh, here these uh, rows there is marketing manager transport and logistics okay and this is uh, this is procurement and accounts so these are the spaces available in this uh, building okay so this is your floor plan so first of all, first you require the floor plan and study it okay then you need the roof plan okay so this is the roof plan you can see here the roof layout for office block okay and then you need uh, the elevation and section so here is the elevation drawing you can see the elevation d c and this is the elevation b okay, and then elevation a so this is the front elevation and this is the rear elevation and these are the side elevation so from the plan you can see this elevation a here this is the a okay so you are looking from this side this is the view of uh, elevation a okay and this is the elevation v so if you want to uh, to look for this drawing you have to go for elevation drawing here okay 05 a03 okay so here is your 05 a03 in this you can found elevation a here okay so in this elevation we are getting the height of the building okay as well as the window and door heights okay and uh, the rear elevation in this also you can found the windows doors as well as this is the staircase monkey ladder okay and here is the door for transformer rooms okay and the elevation uh, the side elevation you can found here the staircase which is located beside the buildings and this is the case ladder okay so in this uh, plan view you can see this is the stair here showing so these are the elevation c and uh, d okay similarly we need a section drawing just to find the uh, what we say this uh, fall ceiling height so from the section drawing you can found the fall ceiling height okay so this is your fall ceiling you can see this is the fall ceiling height is three meter from the ffl okay so this is your ffl okay and you can also found the here the sill height of the window and uh, door okay and also you can uh, found here the void space which is required to place your equipment above the fall ceiling okay so this uh, section drawing is very very important okay so this is your section a so to look for this section a you have to go for the plan so you can see here the section a where is the section a in this you can found so this is your section a okay here is the, your section a section a so section a which is your corridor all our corridor and here is the meeting room conference room meeting room technical department so you can found here the meeting room in the ground floor you can see here this is where is the meeting room here okay so this is your section a section a is like this actually uh, i will show you with uh, one line diagram one, uh, one line okay this is your section a they cut it like this from here okay then go then they move this, this side and it it will go up to here so this is your section a so in this uh, grid how to read this drawing you can see here these uh, this meeting room sales department and technical department falls under this grid okay 8 and 13 so in this section you can see here 8 and 13 this is your 8 and 13 and this you can see here this is this is your meeting room and you can found the ceiling height fall ceiling height in this room 
sales department technical and after that there is showing here corridor that means this section is cut like this see? then you stand here for example uh, you are looking from this side okay so you are looking from this side and this is your arrow okay you are here okay here looking from this side so cut the section here and looking from this side so you can see this is uh, these are the offices and now you move here you can move your arrow here okay put it here so you cut this uh, section here and then you can see only this uh, corridor okay so this is these are the drawings so we have to start uh, first of all the load calculation for each space so this will be very interesting and very very important for the experience as well as beginner because i am going to design the dx system here and as well as vrf as well as chill water system so all the concept will be clear in this project and also uh, i am going to do the ventilation calculation for all these uh, toilets okay and after that I am going to design the plumbing system as well in this uh, drainage and water supply. So this uh, there will be more videos part by part will come to you. So please keep watching my all the videos, okay? And uh, you will learn the concept for the real time project. So in the um, I hope you guys learn what is the requirement for uh, designing the HVAC system for uh, real time project. So. Uh, so i hope you guys learned something from this video so next time whenever you start any project you have to gather all the information first uh, before i start the designing okay and then you can start the designing so i hope you guys learned something from this video so in the next tutorials i am going to start uh, from the ground floor uh, the load calculation in the app because just to save the time so i will use the app because in the real project uh, we are using the app only so in india as well as ua and middle east uh, mostly we are using the app software so i will do the designing in the app load calculation then uh, from the load calculation i will select the ac okay we will select the ac units and i will decide and select the ac units then uh, I will do the drafting as well here. So this project will be very big, okay? And uh, my video will be too long if I will make uh, one video, so it will be too long. So I will make the part by part, and I will explain you all the concepts here. So don't forget to watch my next video. So from the next video, it will be very very important because I am going to design the load calculation and load calculation is very very important topic for uh, interview point of view as well as uh, in the real practice as well so please be with me and keep watching my video so thank you for watching my video thank you thank you bye bye